Yeah. yeah. Yes, good morning, uh, dear farmers. Here is the state of concern. Uh, this farmer of mine has been trying all his best to make sure that he does some farming. Uh, he's saying he has made uh, like four paddocks uh, of chain link. Uh, the two paddocks or three paddocks, I, I think they can cost over like a four or five million or ten something like that but look at what is happening in this farm when you look at the house this is the house that has been disturbing us we are trying to run to make sure that we actually enter 50 goods that we have in place but we are over seven people and we are failing to make the goods enter why because of the strategy of the blessing of the entrance then leaving the house, it is raised, which is okay, but leaving the, 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 the ground house not closed. So we are trying to fight to make sure that the house enters. Now the workers will run away because of those hectic work. Two, the vets will also run away because you're taking a lot of their time. Three, there is a lot of grass. I think he made an exercising area which can accommodate over 1,000 vets. And it's all chain link. But when you look at the goods that are inside, they, they are really miserable because they are exposed to diseases. Whenever you leave grasses in your houses, whenever you leave uh, goats to feed in the morning, you're exposing them to worms. Remember, whenever you give drugs, and those drugs are exposed even to the dung of the, of the house, they, they are trying to build that resistance. So now, he has a resistance in the, in the, in the goats. Look at how this goat is looking like. This is not a bad goat, it's a good goat. But because of sickness, even the vet decided to run away. He's no longer picking the cause because whenever he comes to feed, he goes back and another one dies. So this is the situation. So this is, there is worms and PPR. Every day they are really getting more, more death. But right now, I've tried to instruct and uh, see whether this farmer can reform, uh, which I think he's going to do it there and then. Uh, but he spent a lot of money, and what he's trying to do is failing to uh, cope up with the, with the God project. So we are trying at least, after following me up for a long time, so that there is mistakes that he's supposed to be doing. He had over 70, right now he's telling he has over 40 goats because of the mortality. And there is some others who are telling you that he has stayed with goats for three years. He has only lost one. So we are going to try to correct it out. But I wanted you to understand. And that is the kid's pen that he put, which is totally very wrong. Uh, because goats are goats. And then they are not supposed to sleep like cows. Or, 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 sorry. They are not supposed to sleep like human beings. Which is just another trouble. So we are going to correct out and make sure that this farmer can really be something because he has the potential. You get? He has the potential. He has the the, 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 the feeling. Uh, you, you can't even imagine a farmer coming from Kampala, not even Kampala, from abroad. He has established a farm. Uh, when you look at the house, uh, could you please show them the house that the farmer has built? So that is the house. He built it on the farm. That implies that this farmer really has a feeling to stay at the farm. But look at what he has on the farm. Do you think this farmer won't sell off that farm to run away? Let's try to give information to the others. Because I think it's because of me giving out information that this farmer is really trying to love what he's doing and he's thinking that he can do something better. This farmer can do better and he can try to give him skills on how to handle it. The, 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 the main effect that is really attacking Uganda, it is the skills. Those people who are resourceful, they are not trying to give out information to other people. How they do it, how they manage everything, because in each job there is challenges. So please, let's give out the information. If you know something and you don't want to give it to someone, my dear, that project will never develop. We as farmers, if you come as a group, and we all have the same product, we shall definitely have the same market and it will not be a cheap market. So we have to correct this. We are going to deworm them and we are going to vaccinate them.
And definitely, I know I'm sure this is going to get better soon because so many have been in the same state and we have recovered everything. So, my dear farmers, let's learn a few things and that will be very important. Thank you very much.